Just get a mohawk, Dave. <laughs> Give him a mohawk. So it finally started happening. One of the side effects of doing chemotherapy that is pretty common is that you lose your hair. You don't lose your hair right away, but usually they tell me in the second to third week of your treatment plan, you start to lose your hair. It just starts to fall out. Well, it started on Monday. On Monday, I was taking a shower and you know how like you just, you can, you can tell like if there's a hair on your face or in your mouth or something. I just, I just felt like I had something like that. And it was early in the morning and I really wasn't putting two and two together. I just, you know, was kind of running more maybe on instinct. And um, I'm putting shampoo in my hair and I'm doing all this. And I look in my hands and there is just a dozen hairs in my hands. I was like, oh, okay, it started. And it wasn't a lot, but it was it was it was enough to know that the process had begun. And by Wednesday, like I remember taking a shower on Wednesday, and it was just I had hair everywhere. And at this point, I wasn't so much sad about losing my hair and having to get it all shaved and all that, as much as I was like, I'm shedding everywhere. I feel like a dog. Like everywhere I go, there is hair all over the place. And I had this conversation with the lady that cuts my hair um, at the very beginning of this. And I said, okay, so you've dealt with clients before that have gone through what I'm going through. Like, what's the best way to do this? And she said, well, just when it's time, you'll know, call me and we'll take care of it. And so I texted her this week and I said, it's time. So I went into the shop and instead of the normal spiky hair haircut, I was going in to get my head completely shaved. And again, like going into this, I felt like I was emotionally ready to handle this. That it would, you know, this is all part of the process. And I remember looking at myself in the mirror uh, when it was all said and done, like that was kind of the moment of truth of like, okay, I, I feel like I've been, I was pretty confident going in the door. Okay, I got this, this is gonna be a big deal. But like the moment that you know, and I wear glasses, and so a lot of times, you know, when I get my hair cut, I take my glasses off, and so it's not until the very end that I put my glasses back on, and then I actually get to see the final product. And so I put my glasses on, and here we are. I think, I think I'm okay with it. I don't think it's bad, it's, it's definitely different. But I had this thought too, like, like the, the, on Monday when it was all falling out, I immediately had this thought that I was thankful for is that my hair falling out is not a side effect of the disease. It is not the cancer that makes your hair fall out. It is the treatment. It is the chemotherapy that you go through the part of the cure for the process. And so this side effect, my hair falling out is not a result of the disease. It's a result of the treatment working, doing what it's supposed to do to help cure you from this disease. And I've been preparing for this moment as well. I've actually got a lot of neat hats. I've been wearing this blue one pretty much since the beginning, even like when I go in for treatments, this is the, the hat that I've been wearing, but I've also got uh, some beanies that someone knitted for me and put those together and it's actually supposed to be cold next week and so I'm actually legitimately looking forward to uh, wearing those beanies. After getting my hair cut, I came back to the house and my two older kids were here at the house and, and each one I showed them, I, I took off the hat and they both looked at me and they go, it doesn't look horrible. <laughs> so I guess that's good.